I nearly fell over after reading the most recent commentary by the brilliant black conservative Eric Rush, known as the Other Rush. It was amazing, packed with such unassailable logic, reasoning, and insight. And he quoted one of my favorite people, Judge Napolitano, to corroborate his stated opinion. I wonder how this was hidden in plain sight so long. Once you hear it, it is impossible to unhear it ringing in your freedom-loving head. Why? Because it makes too much sense. Here it is. Judge for yourself. There have been some pretty potent reactions in the alternative press to Judge Andrew Napolitano's WND column of July 1st, Hillary's Secret War. In it, the judge analyzes a shocking interview with an international arms dealer that centers around the man's dealings with the State Department under Hillary Clinton, as well as evidence in the same vein that surfaced through other sources. Clinton's destruction of emails covering that period and testimony she gave at a hearing of the Senate Armed Services Committee in January of 2013. Napolitano is one of the first of his stature and background in the law to pull no punches pertaining to the former Secretary of State's criminality. Yet despite his usual ambiguous legal opinions, or judgments, if you will, written and broadcast, here he doesn't provide any, instead leaving the reader to digest the weighty revelations. I could almost hear the judge intone to his readers, you're smart, you figure it out. What do we typically do with people who commit serial criminal offenses? Writing for TruthRevolt.org last week, Mark Tapson made a case for arresting and charging Ms. Clinton, as well as expressing an almost passionate yearning that this would take place with all due speed. Judge Napolitano's column ends with the following. Hillary Clinton lied to Congress, gave arms to terrorists, and destroyed her emails. How much longer can she hide the truth? How much longer can her lawlessness go unchallenged and unprosecuted? Does she really think the American voters will overlook her criminal behavior and put her in the White House where she could pardon herself? Strong words, and Napolitano certainly echoes my sentiments. The urgency contained in that final paragraph reminded me of an editorial comment I made elsewhere just this past weekend. This one addressed the Obama State Department denying visas to Assyrian Christians who were in imminent danger of persecution from the terror group pursuing them several weeks ago, while continuing to allow every potential jihadi who wishes its entry into the United States. When will Americans, American Christians in particular, stand up and demand that Barack Hussein Obama be dragged from the White House in chains? This ends the first half of an astounding commentary by Eric Rush. To read the full commentary, visit WND.com in the opinion section. And forward a link of this video to friends and relatives and post it on Twitter and Facebook and other social media. Thank you.